Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create sonar radar in After Effects without using any plugins. Without any further ado, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling it Sonar Radar. I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frame per seconds and my duration is 15 seconds longer. Create a new solid layer. I'm changing the color to black. Go to effects and presets. If you can't see effects and presets, go to window and select effect and presets. Now search for gradient ramp and drag it to the timeline. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Also, change start color and end color. Create another solid layer. Now go to effects and presets and search for fractal noise and drag it to the timeline. Now go to effect controls, change noise type to spline, brightness to minus 56. Hold alt key and click on the stopwatch to add expression on evolution type. Time asterisk 150. Press spacebar to preview. Go to effects and presets and search for tint. Now drag it to effect controls. Change map black and map white. Press spacebar to preview. I'm going to lock my layers. Now go to Tools panel, and select Ellipse Tool. Change Fill option to None. Change Stroke Color, I'll put the color code in the description. Hold Shift to keep perfect proportion and draw ellipse. Change Stroke Width to 5. I'm going to align my lips to the center of the composition. Hold Ctrl key and double click on pen behind to set anchor point to the center of the ellipse. Click on add, and select repeater. Toggle repeater 1. Change copies to 5. Again, Toggle Transform Repeater 1. Change X Position to 0. Scale to 140%. Select Title, Action Safe to add Guide. Before we move on guys, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon beside it, so you will be notified when we post a new video. That being said let continue. Now select pen tool, then draw a line from the center of the composition. Toggle shape layer 2, click on add, and select repeater. Toggle Repeater 1, change copies to 4. Again, Toggle Transform Repeater 1, change X position to 0. Change Rotation to divide the lines into 4 quarter. To achieve this, we know that angle at the center of a circle is 360 degrees. Divide by the numbers of copies which is 4. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Toggle Shape Layer 3, Toggle Shape 1, likewise Toggle Repeater. Change copies to 500. Toggle Transform Repeater 1. Now change rotation to 0.2 degrees. 
change start opacity to 0%, end opacity to 65%. Again, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate toggle shape layer 4, toggle shape 1 then select repeat to 1 and delete. Change stroke width to 20. You can also change the color as well. Select shape layer 3, then press R for rotation. Now change rotation to minus 100 degrees. Select shape layer 4, then press R for rotation. Move timeline indicator to 0 seconds and add keyframe. Again, move timeline indicator to 10 seconds and change rotation to 360 degrees to add another keyframe. Hold Alt key and click on the stopwatch to add expression on rotation. Type, loop out open and close brackets. Now parent shape layer 3 to shape layer 4. Move timeline indicator to 10 seconds and press N to trim the timeline. Press spacebar to preview. Select shape layer 1 and shape layer 2. Now press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose. Create another solid layer. Change color to green. Select Ellipse tool. Now create a mask. Increase Mask Feather. Press T to open opacity and change opacity to 50%. Select Radar. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Glow. Change Glow Threshold to 70%. Glow Radius 82%. Select Ellipse Tool. Change Fill Option to Solid Color. Hold Shift to keep perfect proportion and draw ellipse. Hold Ctrl key and double click on pen behind to set anchor point to the center of the ellipse. Press T for Opacity and add a keyframe. Change Opacity to 0%. Move Timeline Indicator to 1 seconds and change Opacity to 100%. Hold Alt key and click on the stopwatch to add expression on opacity. Type, loop out open and close brackets inverted commas, ping pong. Press spacebar to preview. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Press Ctrl plus A to select all layers then double tap on U to close all keyframes. Press Spacebar to preview. I'm going to offset the shape layers. Now let's see the preview. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please make sure you like, 
and share this video and also subscribe to my channel for more tutorial. See you next time, and stay creative. Thank you.